Good day, everybody. Brian here from quantlabsnet.com. Today is November 1st. Uh, so I finally completed the C++ book. I put out a review on it. Uh, the book that I'm talking about is uh, C, beginning C17 from novice to professional. Quite a good book. I just put out a video on how to approach this book, depending upon your a, your motivation to learn something like high frequency trading, which is very complicated, very lengthy, very involved. Obviously, it's very lucrative at the same time. Um, so this book, I recommend um, to learn not just the old style uh, legacy uh, C++, but also the modern way. There's no lazy way, no easy road to take when it comes to this sort of programming especially if you're trying to learn hft stuff anyways what i wanted to 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 put out there was um a call out to people on my whoever sees this video if you have a project that you want me to look at that involves high frequency trading a trading platform or uh even low latency i want to learn it and and learn the coding of it um especially from C++ 17. Um, I think 14, I'm kind of covered as well from learning the book. So not quite there yet, yet for the C++ 20. Um, but uh, this is the best way I, I can tell you how to learn coding. So obviously GitHub's the mother load of where you find open projects. So my case, so your case, if you, if you got uh projects you want me to look at i'm willing to learn the coding from it i might put out a video on it um uh, just my view of it uh because there are some very good projects out there that have to have uh different um documentation proper documentation and uh being able to showcase what these coders can do I can tell you one of the big reasons why a lot of people put the effort into this, as I said before, because these are the keeners. These are the people that want to get these jobs, want to go out into the workforce, prove to these recruiters that are hiring in the world of high frequency trading. So they put out these projects to showcase their, their capabilities to get hired. It's kind of like part of uh, their resume. So that's why I think a lot of these, these are the reasons why they're built. So there's a couple here uh, on on um, GitHub. I do struggle with GitHub because the searching capability is not very good. So if I wanted to learn low latency, you know, these are the problems I get. The prop, the easiest approach I found is on this thing called Google, put in GitHub C++ HFT. You will find, hopefully, some good projects from this. Um, here, uh, as an example, uh, low latency programming repository for high frequency trading. Um, and I found other projects this way as well. Um, and you just go through the source code, um, see how other people do it. Uh, so there's a function here or a start app. You know, you just click and learn. That's all I can tell you. And here you go. Here's some C++ coding to learn from. The critical thing I would think is how old the project is. You don't want to go too far back um, because <laughs> the, it may be outdated and breaks because the coding, if you use a more up-to-date um, C++ compiler, so be aware of that. But these these are the different approaches. So again, coming back, to uh, the, you see here you have uh, pairs trading, SIMD, all the different approaches to optimally uh, code up uh, these type of strategies. So these are probably a good starting points to learn from. Um, you, you can read all the books you want, uh, to be honest, but you need to download code and play with it. and And, reverse engineer it. and if the project's good enough so as an example uh i don't care what people say 
if the project doesn't have the proper coding uh, comments to really decipher what these uh, people are trying to do with their code, it, it the project might not be all that worthwhile. That's to me. But again, everyone has their own method of, of learning stuff to reverse engineer. So here's a second one. Okay. Uh, again, this is HFT bot. Uh, this looks like it's a market making thing. Um, so again, learning. I think this one I've looked at before. Two years old. This should be fine to reverse engineer as well. So you can do the same thing on trading platforms themselves. You can combine it with trading with uh, the JavaScript like some do or TypeScript for a front end or use Qt. I would try to keep it within um within uh C plus plus. So as another example, uh with with a GUI, most of them are gonna be back end only, console only. <laughs> but still, uh it's it's helpful to understand the same kind of coding style. Again, all in C++. So again, uh, you want to make sure, I think this would be a good example of an obsolete uh, project. Uh, some of them do get abandoned. Um, so you don't want to, I mean, but look at all the documentation and the different styles and approaches they have when it comes to uh, high-frequency trading, design, and architecting a, a system. So again, uh, let me see. So this one's specifically for crypto. Nothing wrong with that. Um, so let me see if there's... Okay, there's the repositories here. Um, so yeah, these are fairly updated a couple hours ago, actually. So these are up to date. These might be good to follow. Just be aware, some might be obsolete. And as I said, if you have specific ones, send them to me. Get in touch with me or, or comment below. Uh, and I'll take a look at them, see if they're worthwhile. If I can get them running in a Linux environment, I, I personally don't want to look at Windows only. I like the Linux friendly uh, projects as well, because that's the whole point of C++ where it's specifically targeted to be deployed on Linux. So that's pretty well it. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more with what I'm doing, go to quantlabsnet.com um, and uh, get yourself opted in here. I don't resell uh people's i don't release people's emails and i do obviously respect privacy but here you can get that c plus plus hft book uh, that i wrote a couple of months ago uh and it's pretty popular now over 600 people have downloaded it um and uh, i'm pretty happy with that and uh, it's just what pieces go into a hft system i mean it's not going to give you complete code for HFT, but it'll give you um, the different uh, components that go into a complete system end to end. All right. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a good day.